what's cracking everybody welcome back to the channel and while you don't know this this is at least my fifth time trying to record this video for you guys today first i recorded it and i had my little corner right here too big it was covering the whole thing so you guys couldn't see anything it's the same thing i did with the video the other day um then i got a couple phone calls that i had to take <clears throat> So let me try to get through this. This is called Jeff's LSPD police interrogation video number one. There's three of them. We're going to watch all three. Now, some background. There was a 7-Eleven robbed. And when the police responded to the, the scene, there was no suspects. So they went wandering around, you know, and several blocks away, they heard a dog barking in a pad. And the dog was barking because there were so many cops everywhere. And so Jeff stepped outside to see what the commotion was and was then apprehended and is now being charged with robbery. How the police made that connection, we'll never know. But we're going to go ahead and watch this. I am having issues with my allergies, so please forgive me for all the sniffling. But um, I want you guys to, to watch this video. And understand what Jeff does in this interrogation is what everyone should do. Whether you're innocent or guilty of a crime, this guy puts on a little masterpiece. We're gonna have fun with this. <clears throat> Am I under arrest? Not for now. I'm under arrest. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain everything. But before I talk, before I explain myself to you, before we talk to each other, I need to read your rights, okay? What am I under arrest for? Well, like I said, I need to read your rights first. Obviously, the charge is robbery, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll explain everything. I'm under arrest for robbery. You are, but let me read your rights real quick, okay? And then I'll explain it all to you. Is that okay? <clears throat> you let me do that real fast. <clears throat> all right, Jeff. Can you read with me? Just read in your head, okay? Before we ask you any questions, you must understand that what your rights are. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to the lawyer for advice before we question you and have him or her with you during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer and you want one, a lawyer will be provided for you. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you'll still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time that you want until you talk to the lawyer. Does that make sense? So what was the first right he had, according to the Miranda rights that were, that were read to him? You have the right to remain silent. You've probably heard these before, haven't you? He's remaining yeah. silent. Now, here's the thing. Cops are used to having things their way. Most people, even criminals, when they're arrested and brought into this room, they have some fear. And all they want to do is get out of there. And so they, they think, okay, I want to know what they have, you know, what, what is the evidence they have against me? If I just talk to, if I just engage them, I'm not going to give them anything, but if I just engage them, uh, I'll, I'll find out what they have. And, and no, the, see, when people do that, that's how they wind up uh, with a life sentence for a pack of bubblegum. <laughs> That might be extreme, but believe me, there's a lot of people in prison that are innocent, believe it or not. And a lot of it comes from this type of interaction right here. That cop is not your friend. That cop doesn't want anything other than a conviction. He wants to put you in the county jail and get the DA to put you away and feel like he fought crime. Doesn't matter if there's really no evidence against you. What comes out of your mouth can become the evidence, though. Do you understand your rights? Yeah, you know. <clears throat> Obviously, he does. He's remaining silent. Do you understand your rights, Jeff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. We're getting paid more than you are, so we can sit here for a long time, man. You see the sassiness? They are used to people going in there, cowering, talking, and this right here, Jeff. By the way, I forgot to mention, Jeff is a heroin addict, and he's kicking right now. He needs a fix, so he's obviously going to be in some pain. Um, I've never done heroin, but I've been around heroin users basically my whole life, right? Um, 
And when people are kicking heroin, it, you can die from that, right? And a lot of times what they want is a candy bar and some hot water to put their body under to help try to alleviate stuff. Um, but let's see what we got going on. I just need you to answer me yesterday. Do you understand your right? You don't need that. Answer that question. Do you understand what I read to you? Do you comprehend what I read to you? <clears throat> Jeff, I'm just here to talk to you and figure out what happened and mm. move you on out of here at least some of it. Do you mm. understand the rights I read to you? If you got something that says you didn't do this robbery, this is your chance to talk to me. <laughs> Okay, good cop. Good cop. Uh, no, usually I'm the prick. You look like the prick. I am. Jeff, do you understand your rights? Yes or no? I'm, I'm not asking if you want to talk to me at this point. I just wonder if you understand what I read to you. I still am I under arrest? Yes, you're under arrest. I'm getting back to the cell. I don't talk to you, motherfucker. Okay, there you go. That's how you handle it, right? Do not incriminate yourself. Do not be overly talkative or friendly. They are not there to be your friend. So let me pause this for a second and we're going to bring a part two. So here we go with part two of Jeff's interrogation. Again, watch the mastery of this dude. Um, uh, luckily, they put some slipper socks on him because <laughs> they had him barefooted a second ago which is very unsanitary let's let's step our game up over there detectives all right come on <clears throat> to yeah. oh yeah and now let me tell you guys that <laughs> don't fall for the soda trick when i got picked up from my murder they brought me a soda it's always a tactic like let me try to give you know, be a friend and give them something and they'll give me something. Remember, especially if you're innocent, you didn't commit a crime. They want you to go to jail for whatever you've been arrested for. You gonna be able to pop it open or you need me to? Oh, yeah. I need methadone. You need methadone? Yeah, you guys, you get me that methadone? Yeah. I don't have any. Do you have medication for it or, I mean, a prescription for it? Or? Yeah. What do you need methadone for? Because I'm a fucking junkie and you guys, I can't get no methadone. I'm going to go, go through withdrawal here in a minute. Where do you usually get your methadone from? I don't get it. I get heroin. How long you been using heroin? Long time. Bro. 10 years? 15 years? I hardly been alive that long. <laughs> That's what Jeff said. He's hardly been a long 10 or 15 years. Wow. <clears throat> what are you trying to talk to me about here? Talk to you about what happened last night. Look, here's the deal. Either you're in a bad, bad set of circumstances or you went and committed an armed robbery last night. Yeah, right? I'm in a shitty, uh, wrong place at the wrong time, obviously. I didn't commit no fucking armed robbery. All right, then let's talk about this. Let's, let's I don't, not have none of, I don't talk to the police, man. I think it's in your best interest to. How? Man. I don't you're, talk you're to the police. Here, okay. I've been through the system, buddy. I know how I know it you works. have. I know you have, You're Jeff. not my friend. I'm not your friend. You're trying to fucking get me. Or you're no, trying I'm to, not trying to get all you. All you're trying to get is some fucking stupid-ass fucking confession. Listen to him. He said, no, I'm not trying to get you. You know, I do have you in cuffs and slipper socks, and I've, I've, you know, arrested you and charged you with this, but I'm really not trying to get you. Really, I'm not, you know. I just like sitting here talking to you. Confession, <laughs> and you're not going to get one. Jeff, I'm not going to get a confession out of you for nothing. Exactly, because I and didn't I'm do nothing. I'm not trying to get a confession out of you. Okay. I'm not trying to get a confession. And I'm going to tell you, I ain't commit no armed robbery, and y'all ain't got no fucking evidence saying I did. Let me go. All you did is find me sitting in my buddy's house because my fucking buddy's dog's going to ape shit. I go outside. There are cops everywhere. And they spotlight me. They say, come here. I say, what's up? They search me. They ain't find nothing. What's up? This is way too much talking, though. You know, but he's, I mean, he's still basically in control. That's what's funny about this whole thing is he's in control of everything. But 
he's still saying too much at this point. Let me read this. No. Okay. Yes. Because I'm not going to sign it. You don't need to sign it. So let me read it for you. Okay? I'm not signing nothing. You don't. See, this is where the detective, his uh, awareness is low, right? I want you guys to follow the cursor. You see the cursor right here? Okay. This officer has his eyes in his ear hole, right? Jeff is throwing the distraction. He's like, look at this trash can, though, boss. And what this guy right here doesn't see is my boy made a foot fist. Right now, Jeff is looking in that trash can and wondering, should I kick this dude? He, he, like I said, he already made a fist with his foot. Amazing. Shaolin monk shit right here, right? And he, he just wah, wrap it around and it goes right there. Stay tuned. I have to sign it. Let me read it. You you heard it earlier already. You've been through the system. You know it. <clears throat> it ain't going to change a thing. You're still sitting here. Warning as to your rights guaranteed by the Miranda decision of the Supreme Court of the United States. You already read it to me earlier. I know we did, but I'm going to read it to you again. Thanks for the tell. You're welcome. Before we ask any questions, you must understand what your rights are. <coughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we question you. And that was deep. Or with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, a lawyer will be provided for you. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to the lawyer. Do you understand the rights I've explained to you? No. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So, obviously, those of you that don't know, um, he's exhibiting signs of being an active uh, withdrawal. Um, he's blowing his nose. <coughs> he has a weak voice. You see, he's trying to, you know, warm himself up. He's in pain. Cops know what this is, man. Let him sit around a little while. He's going to be hurting. He's going to hurt more. He's just going to want to get to the cell. Uh, and it's a cold tactic. That's borderline torture, you know. I mean, I know it's not technically torture, but the pain that he's in, the fact that, remember, people are going to say, well, he, that's, his, that's his fault for being a heroin addict. Yeah, but he didn't commit a crime. That's the thing. He's in there falsely accused of something that can get him hemmed up for a very long time. Tell me what happened last night. No. Plain and simple. Your your side of the story. <clears throat> uh, all right. This is what I, I, I don't understand. Stuff. I, told you I know, but this is what I don't understand. Why don't you understand? You're sitting there talking, just like you were ready to sit here. And no, he wasn't. Last night. No, he wasn't. And I read that to you, and you screwed. I ain't talking to you. I want a lawyer. I don't understand that. What what Cause changed? Cause I, just in the. Because I told you what I already told you what happened. You didn't. He did. did not. You didn't. So let me uh, remind the detective. He was. In his friend's pad, right? This is what he said, Ossifer. He was at his friend's house. There was a bunch of commotion outside. The dog was barking, going crazy. He stepped outside to see what was going on. The cops hit him with a flashlight, told him to come over here. He went over there to see what was going on. Now he's in handcuffs. He's kicking heroin. He's got slipper socks on. He already made a foot fist, I think, two times. So, again, this detective's awareness is... Tell me what happened last night. How didn't but, I just tell you what? But now you've handcuffed me, and I can't talk to you because you've asked for an attorney. Right. Then shut up and get him out of there. Constitutional rights. So okay, that's fine. Okay. But I will tell you right now, you're still on a hold for a robbery. I know. I don't know why. I need a fucking lawyer because uh, obviously I didn't do nothing, and obviously you guys know I didn't do nothing because. <coughs> I've been arrested for the same bullshit before, and you guys don't interview me this much. So, wham, bam, thank you for the coke. Put me back in the cell. Well, we That's my home. You yet. That's my home. All right. You haven't interviewed me yet. Yeah. I'm not being interviewed. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We haven't interviewed you yet. Hang on. While you're right there, Tom. Slammed it down with authority. Remember, he knows as as an addict who's kicking, they always want sugar. I don't know what sugar does for him. They usually want chocolate, though. <clears throat> so he has seen going into that room will get him a soda. Stay tuned. He, 
he's like, what the hell is this slipper song? Give me one second. There we go. I think we're back recording. I hope we're back recording. I hope I did right. Here we go with part three of Jeff's police interrogation video. And the mastery continues. All right. I know we did this twice, but I got to do it again every time, okay? If we're asking you questions, I got to read your rights. Either write your main <coughs> silent, either you say okay, we'll be just against you the court of law. Either write, talk to a lawyer for advice before we question you, have it with you during questioning. If you're not afford to hire a lawyer and you want one, a lawyer will be provided for you. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer, you still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and sign there. Let me take the gas off. Look, I'm not signing. Okay, sign. you don't have to sign anything. You understand your rights, though, right? So here we are. Now it's okay. Let's make him comfortable. Let's finally get him out of his handcuffs, and then we got him. <laughs> That's all I need. Verbal yes. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God, you hear that? What's going on with my coke? Or is that just a fairy tale? He said, it's coming. So they're coming with another Coke. Got his handcuffs off. They think, they think they're think they pampering him. They know he's hurting, though. That's the thing is they know he's hurting. And so th these are all the little tactics that they try to use to get you to think like, ah, you know what? They're not really that bad. I mean, they want to lock me up probably for the rest of my life, but they're really not that bad. <laughs> Could be here for two minutes. Just watch the sewer machine. What do you want to talk about? Well, I need to know what this DOC or TMP hold is. What's that about? That's with your uh, parole. What, what does that mean? It's basically they put a parole violation on you. They put a violation on you? So I had this before? Or what? No, no. I got, I got you violated. Yeah. I got you violated. Listen to the cop. He still hasn't, he's, he's, supposed, he's supposedly innocent until proven guilty. Allegedly, that's what the American thing is, right? That's what we do. But we all know it's the opposite, guilty until proven innocent. Now he has a parole violation. Um, when you're on parole and you get that parole violation, even if they drop the charges, he's still going to go in. Thank you, officer. You did a great job, fine job. Yeah. <coughs> For uh, armed robbery. I, I ain't been charged with armed robbery. Thank you. Right. Well, I'm charged with armed robbery. You on? Uh, possession of a firearm. You on? Yeah. I thought I got PFI on that. You did. Do you know what PFI means, right? Pending in further investigation? That basically, what that means is because there's no prosecutor on the weekends, I PFI you. Monday morning, I call a prosecutor and we write the case, and then we get a warrant for you for armed robbery. So, this is uh, Saturday, uh, Friday, who, who knows what it is, right? But this officer is like, hey, yeah, I booked you. And I'm also uh, adding a gun charge. Um, but I gave you a soda and I took your handcuffs off. So please incriminate yourself. Isn't that worth it? Come on, Jeff. You got a soda. <laughs> uh, that taste good? Mm-hmm. <coughs> I talked to Aaron, I talked to Becky. Yeah. Got their statements. And they made statements? Yeah, they made some statements. Basically, I just talked to him because when Officer Hawkins arrested you, he told you that uh, you told him that you went there. I didn't say I was staying there. I just said I stayed there that night. Had you been there during the night? Yeah. Did Aaron know you? This is where, again, I think it's because of the withdrawals. He's. He's engaging in the bullshit. This is what they do. You see all the tactics they do. 
But Jeff always has a plan. Sure he did, yeah. I mean, he might have been asleep, but that's where I was staying at night. What time did you get there? No. You know what? I'm not answering that question. Caught himself. The cop was trying to get him to place himself in a place where if he can disprove that, they can convince a jury, don't believe anything he says, because he says he got there at 415 when he actually got there at 416. Great detective work. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm happy to help you out. Well, you can't help me, man. Oh, I can't. Can I have my buddy come to please? Just finish your coat first. I don't get why I'm. I don't. I don't. Well, here, here's, here's what the deal is I have enough evidence. What? Famous lines. <laughs> Famous lines. I already know everything. I just need you to be honest. That's always their famous line. They're not going to say it always in the exact same words, but that's what they're getting at. A real <clears throat> robbery, okay? But, <clears throat> you know, if, if you're saying you didn't do it, you need to give me your side of the story. I have all the evidence to convict you. But if you didn't do it, just say it. I didn't do it. Okay, well, give me your side of the story. That was it. You got to I mean, convince me because I got a lot of evidence. I got a lot of physical evidence. Well, like what? Name the physical well, I don't need to, I, why should I tell you that? I mean, you haven't been, you haven't been helpful to me at all. No. Well, how helpful have you been, sir? Um, you guys took him out of his uh, pad, took him out of the yard, handcuffed him, put him in slipper socks uh got him a parole violation charged him with two serious crimes that he's saying he had nothing to do with you really don't have any evidence that we know of that he com that he committed this crime and you think you he owes you a favor huh well, I don't believe that you got any evidence. that's right jeff I didn't do it, so well here, here's it I, i'll give you one piece of my evidence okay yeah one piece one the phone for 7-Eleven was taken by the suspect, whoever that was, okay? Air quotes. The suspect was thrown in the dumpster behind 7-Eleven. Mm. We got DNA off that phone. Sure you do. Sure you do. Again, you guys, those of you, especially if you're not a criminal, especially if you get picked up for something you didn't do, listen. Jeff was just arrested. Okay. The detective is saying we found a phone that was stolen from 7 Eleven and thrown in a dumpster or wherever, right? Right there. And in a matter of hours, they pulled DNA off. Now, if anyone believes that they already pulled DNA off of a phone in a matter of hours in this place, you will talk yourself into a life sentence. <clears throat> That's one piece of my evidence. Great evidence that is absolutely evidence. absurd. There, there's only a couple pieces of evidence I'm missing. Name it. What's that? Name it. Why, why would you do that? You see who's interrogating who, though? <laughs> Jeff has spun the whole thing upside down and is working him and pumping him for information. This is a professional. Don't do this on your own. <clears throat> he helped me out a lot. He's not going to. Nope. We go back and forth. I go back and forth. Evidence, now give me a little something. Yeah. Basically, um, Jeff, let's let's break it down for you because I don't know. I know you're in a lot of pain. I need you to understand this. He made up bullshit and now wants you to say, you know what, sir? I did it. Can I just go back to myself? I did whatever you said, sir. I did it. You're right. You know. I know that the CSI is closed right now. <laughs> But I believe that you pulled DNA off that phone. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this guy. <clears throat> you know, I know anything I say here 
can and will be used against me. Sure, but anything you say here, I can also tell your your parole officer, you, you help me out. I charged you, got you with two f serious felonies, got you a parole violation. So no matter what, cut loose on this case or not, you're gonna go to you're gonna go to jail minimum. I don't know if they're gonna give you a flat year and send you to prison for a flat year. I don't know how they do it over there, but you know, hey, he, but he's really gonna go to the parole officer and you know tell him, hey, this guy helped me out. You know, he he admitted to doing something he didn't do, so we're going to lock him up for a very long time. But he was a good guy. He helped me out. That's that's all. The, it's crazy. That doesn't mean that it you sure does. Well, you arrest me for robbery tomorrow. So what the fuck does that do? You help me out, I can help you out, sir. You place. can't tell me that you can help me out. Because all you said is that you're charging me with some bogus-ass armed robbery bullshit. Okay. And I don't believe... Uh, there's no way. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it. There's no way. How drunk? Boom. Were you, were you drunk? No, I was pretty sober. So you're in your right mind. You remember everything about the night, right? Yeah. So you couldn't have done something not remembered. You couldn't have gone and robbed the place and not remembered? Fuck, no. Okay, so you would remember if you robbed the place. No. Okay. <coughs> what about Is this all being recorded, huh? And written down? I'm not writing anything down right now. But they are. Right. I don't think there's anybody watching it. The guy that brought me the coach writing, writing reports. You asked me to bring you up here. I, I mean, I was done talking to you. If you want, I mean, why don't we just talk about the gun? Let's start there. <laughs> this cop doesn't give up. How many times does this man have to say, I wasn't there. I didn't do it. No. Okay. Well, you know what? The armed robbery. We're gonna leave that to the side. Just tell me about the gun. Let's just try to get you at like ten years for that first. Let's work on that ten year term, um, and then we'll get back to the other ten year term. <laughs> wow. I don't fucking have a gun or own a gun. Okay. <clears throat> I, I don't think you do. I know, I know. I know you don't own one. Okay. I didn't know where that gun came from. I don't have... What the fuck are you talking about? The gun you were sitting on. I was sitting on? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, from what I've heard, he was he came outside to see what the commotion was. Now the detective has him sitting on a gun. This guy isn't Wes Watson, sir. Wes Watson is the only one that hoops everything. This is Jeff. Let's get it together. I don't know what you're talking about. Did Aaron says it wasn't his? I don't know what you're talking about. Like I said, you give me a little, I'll give you a little. <clears throat> Not going to happen. You're making stuff up. I got a lot more I can tell you about the whole thing. Go ahead. But you got to help me out, too. Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. Because I'm willing to go to the prosecutor, I'm willing to go to the parole officer and say, this guy's a good guy, he helped me Matt, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I've been man? doing this a long time, man. I haven't. I've been doing this a long time. Thank you. He, 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 he was better off saying, you know what, my partner violated you. I don't agree with it. But no, he came in with the uh, the tough guy. The I, I I got you a violation, so let's talk about it. And when that didn't work, now he's trying to backpedal, but you're the bad guy. Jeff is a heroin addict. Jeff was sleeping in somebody's house and there was a commotion that is not a crime can you get him for an internal possession maybe for another influence or something like that yeah i guess but damn trying to stack decades on somebody that was in a house and had nothing to do with it and you don't you have no evidence that he was involved that's crazy sir you work for jeff ah jeff might not be paying taxes so never mind i know <laughs> I remember back in 2002, I was on the case. I looked that case as a patrol officer. Okay, I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> this is weird. You don't want to go back to jail, right? Back to prison. Fuck, it looks like I am a fifth and you're gonna charge me with some bogus shit. You guys bogus. Don't, I mean what what do you got really that I, I was 
at a buddy's house and I happen to come outside because you guys again every time he does talk about it he came outside but the detective already has him sitting down on a gun like he was trying to hatch an egg what the hell which door the uh, front door you know what I'm not saying Fucking dog going crazy. I, you know what? I'm done. Huh? I'm done, man. Fuck this. I'm not even answering. All this shit that I just said is going to be fucking written in the discovery now, right? What? You haven't said nothing. <laughs> I mean, every little stupid thing that you've asked me, dude, is going to be in the discovery. I probably would do discovery. The prosecutor is. Okay. So, you, I mean, you, you halfway know the system, how things work, and you halfway don't. It doesn't make well, sense. I half ass know yeah. that the only reason I came up here is to get a fucking coat. <laughs> He's like, you halfway know the system, and you halfway know. He's like, I half ass know I only came in here for another coat, played you. Yeah. I got it. But now I want a Butterfinger. <laughs> <laughs> What, now I want a butterfinger. Why, Why can't I have a butterfinger? <coughs> I need to go to the hospital. I'm coughing up blood. Let's go to the hospital. Watch this cop. Okay. <coughs> I was in jail and I go to the hospital. You still me back here, you know that, right? Where? Here in the jail, so you get out of the hospital. Wow. You're not getting out. No. Nigga, he took your soda. He's hot. He's pissed. I got things to do. Yeah, you got things to do. I promise you that. I said we'd see what happens. All right. Like I said, you haven't helped me out at all. Why should I help you out? I got your soda. That's good enough. It is good enough, and what he had to say is even better. So there you guys have it. That was Jeff. Jeff, the mastermind. He beat the cops at their own game. Got two sodas out of it. Uh, but to me, this was just one of those things when I saw it, I wanted to, to react to it because I want to, I wanted people to see the tactics that the detectives use when somebody keeps maintaining their innocence. I didn't do it. I didn't have anything to do with it. And they create lies. Like you see how, when he said with the DNA on the phone, they didn't get DNA on, off the phone in, a, in an hour or two. He was there 24 hours. They said, so he was there 24 hours. They did not get DNA off that phone. Okay. Um, secondly, they said, Oh, well we interviewed uh, Aaron and Becky. And then he's, Oh, well Aaron said this, that's another tactic they use. Oh, well somebody, somebody, you know, said this about you. Well, that's what they said. You know, we'll settle this all in court. It's unfortunate, um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys learned something or if not, had a laugh or two. I appreciate you guys for being here. Everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them, right? I'm out.